doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. Think your dad's a lowlife, huh? Oh. Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Okay, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Malakon here, and welcome to Detroit Become Human. Now, this game has been sitting in my Steam library for like ages now, like a month, two months. I've been waiting to play this, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to play it on the channel or play it on stream. But in the end, I decided to play it on the channel as you guys are watching this video right now. And yeah, I guess I really wanted to do a let's play on this because, like I said, I'm bringing a lot of new games to the channel as I've started already with Hello Neighbor. And uh, yeah, even though they are a bit old, I still just never got a chance to play them. And I really wanted to play this one because this one looks absolutely absolutely amazing so yeah this game it revolves around three characters we have connor i simp over connor okay I'm, I'm i'm gonna admit i love connor he's my favorite uh we have kara and we have marcus so these are the main three characters and basically it's kind of like a telltale story mode game where you have to choose options and whatever decisions you make affect you in the long run so like later on and yeah it's i love these type of games and i'm really really excited to go into this and these videos will be probably quite long because you look tired today i hope you're doing okay nice but don't interrupt me when i'm speaking to my people and let me know down in the comment section below who you like out of all three marcus cara and connor because i i love connor connor is my favorite like if i was into guys connor would be my number one option okay all right guys let's head into detroit become human i'm really excited and let's go all right here we go guys i'm very very excited into this because i don't know i really i used to have a really big interest in these games when i was little like i used to love the walking dead telltale games august 15th 2038 8 29 p.m there he is. It's Connor. I love this guy. I really do love this guy. I love the way he like flicks the coins as well. <sighs> I love that. Get a little tie roll up. Negotiator on site. All right, so we are in Detroit, the world of Detroit, or whatever this world is called. All right, we got a frame here. Let's take a look at this. Um, what's Connor doing? Is he scanning them? All right, so we got Phillips, John, Phillips, Caroline, Phillips, Emma. Okay, Let's, I want to quickly take a look around before we adventure on. Okay, got a fish. All right, dwarf Gorami. Can I see? Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna take a fish for some reason. I don't know why, but I am. Alright. Oh no, I'm helping it. Like, I knew who he was before we played the game. I just absolutely love Connor so much. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? Alright, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Okay, so they don't like the androids. Why are the humans feared of them though? But these humans are working with them. All right, okay. So who we got? Talk to Captain Allen first. All right. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Okay, so we got Deviant's name, Deviant's behavior, emotional shock, and the act. Um, let's get his behavior so we know how he reacts and stuff. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Um, emotional shock. What is emotional shock? Do you have to... Deactivation code. So I think this is probably going to be a droid where that whoever's Have got it. Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh, so we have a probability of success bar as well. So that determines how easily we're going to get the situation done, I think. Okay, so we also... Ooh, okay. This reminds me of, um, oh, 
Okay, let me scan the other clue as well. This reminds me of the Batman Arkham games. This type of like bit. Oh, we, so we need to re yeah, because we need to reconstruct the scene like uh, the Batman Arkham games, where like you reconstruct the scenes and then like analyze the little bits you need to analyze. It's really cool. I love these type of bits. All right, so this was the droid. He took a what does he take? A suitcase? Okay, so that's one out of one. I think that's all we need to analyze here. Oh my god, this music as well. It's so hype, guys. I love it. Such a good introduction to a game. Alright, let's search the hostages room. Oh, what happened to this guy? Okay. Alright, uh, let's scan his face first. Alright, deceased. Phillips jo Oh, that was the guy in the frame! So- Oh, this must be his daughter we're saving! Okay, 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 I'm getting a better idea on this now. Alright, he got a bullet wound. The droid must have shot him with the gun from the- the- what was it? The suitcase? Alright, uh, one more clue on his chest. So he's got two bullet wounds, I think, or three. One to the lungs, one to the other lung, I'm pretty sure. Let's reconstruct the scene and see what happened here. Okay, let's see what happened. So, father was holding something. Rewind to search the clue. All right, so he was holding, I don't know what he was holding. And then the droid shot him. The android shot him three times. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't know what that is though. It looks like a little tablet. Okay, I think we're done with this scene. Hey, I love this music, guys. When it kicks in, it's good. I love this so much. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so that's that. I think that's what the android's blood looks like. Okay, we just licked this blood kind of sus but like i think this gives us like a better opportunity to track him where he is is he out here oh he's out stay back don't come any closer or i'll jump no no please i'm begging you Daniel, chill out, okay? I'm gonna- Oh my god, that was not helpful. See, now our probability went down because the helicopter just decided to come in. We need to approach this guy in a way where he can- Okay, uh, we can calm him, we can release the hostage. Uh, we can tell him to release it and em emphasize it. I'm an android! This is just good. like you! This is what we need I to know do. how you're feeling! What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side! You can't understand how I'm feeling! All right, we can be realistic. Okay, guys, we're gonna go with sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just Whoa. a slave to be ordered around. Okay. Slowly moving closer to you, buddy. Alright, talk to the hostage. Detective, uh... Talk to the hostage. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Nobody's going to die. Stay calm. Everything's going to be fine. Alright, realistic blaming detect- Um, oh, I don't know what to do! Uh, let's be a uh, detective. We're defective, Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. You need to chill out. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Alright, chill out, okay? We'll tell the helicopter to go. You let the girl go. Uh, except. Go on, get out of here, guys. Is under control. Okay. There. I did what you wanted. Alright, we got a higher probability of sex success. That's a good thing we've done that. Trust, love, trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. 
Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine. Let's go. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Sacrifice. Oh, I don't- I don't want to kill Connor straight away. Compromise, compromise. Compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Let's go. Probability of success is going on. I'm gonna die. Ooh, reassure. I'm gonna reassure. I'm gonna reassure. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. I've spent my life taking orders. Don't do it. Now it's my turn to decide. Connor, you better save her. No. That was so sick. That was so cool, but Connor died? Like straight away just like that? My favorite character just died just like that. No, you're joking. Look how cool the city looks! This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the path yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each mode earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game modes and endings, will not be counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Okay. So, we've done Connor Leap of Faith. Alright, we're gonna continue on with the story, guys, and see what happened to Connor. Is that Connor just gone then? Because I didn't want him to die that fast. But I know each decision you make actually matters. Because it's like a choice game. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diets. And handles the kids' home cash. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Oh. Okay, so this is the Android show. This is exactly what you need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999. Damn, that's a lot of money. And all right. It does so what? All the more Whoa. Things, but it <gasps> There's the droid from the star. The one that Connor sacrificed himself for. There he is over there. All right. Wait, so the worker here is our droid as well. Is. That's pretty cool. It's a bit difficult getting it back in work in order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Well, he's not Meaning an android. we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Okay, but where's Connor? Huh? So Connor's just gone like that? Now we've got Kara and Marcus, but... So... So if I get Connor killed, is Connor actually just dead like that? Surely not. Because I'm really sad though. Um, look at the city, guys. I like how it has the modern and the futuristic feel, like, at the same time. You can still see modern things, but you can also see, like, futuristic things as well. I really like that. Where is this? It kind of looks like London. I 
don't know, the droids creep me out though as well, like in a way. I lost my job because of an android, help me. Damn, I'm excited for this guys. This is gonna be a good game. November 5th, 2038. Oh, so this is Marcus, guys. This is the one of the androids I was talking about at the start. So we have Connor, Kara, and Marcus. Would you like to go home now? Yes, Marcus. Yes, I think that's enough. All right, so we gotta go to the Bellini paint shop with Marcus. All right. I wonder what we need to get from there. Probably like painting stuff, but. Look at the atmosphere and everything. Everyone... Like, this is only 2038. This is only like 16, 17 years from now, which is crazy. So yeah, we also have this thing, guys, where if I hold RT on my controller, you can see around everything like freezes time. It just pauses. It's crazy. I don't know why, but... I guess that could come in useful like later if there's like a situation we need to deal with and it's like 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 a Connor situation and we need to like be fast but uh yeah right now we're just taking a look around the town most people are still humans though who's this guy to be our slaves but the slaves are becoming the master we can no longer live without them they're in our homes our schools our factories they take our jobs they mind our children they care for okay. Alright, so that guy was talking about, like, the droids taking over. Which is, like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a big aspect of the game. Because, like, most of the droids are, like, taking over, like, people's jobs, I think. And, like, humanity and stuff. Alright, we're gonna go into the Bellini paint shops. And, uh, see what we need to get. Alright. You know, I'm here to get my paints. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. All right, let's pay the man. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Thank you. All right, we got our paints. Now we go back home or wherever our home is. I don't exactly know who owns uh, Marcus, but we know Kara has that guy. I think his name's Hank. It says in the and like if you look at the description of Detroit and stuff, it's like Hank. And then I don't know who Connor is. I think Connor just works like investigators and stuff. And then Mark is here. I guess we're gonna find out who his like owner is. I don't really know to call them owners because I, they're not exactly like dogs, but you guys know what I mean. So oh yeah, we could like switch angles. All right, we got a bunch of protesters over here. Okay, can we move any faster? No. All right. So what do we need to do? We need to go to the bus stop. Okay. Are taking our place. Right. Let's uh, head over to the bus stop. Machines, ladies and gentlemen, are meant to serve us. Yeah. Not to replace yeah. us. Wait, they're protesting over what? unemployment, millions out of work. Are we going to do something? Yeah. Oh, they're protesting over the android. Oh, I want to see what happens if I like interact with them. Oh, something does happen. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Oh, I probably should have done that. That was a mistake. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Marcus, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have done that to you, man. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. Alright, Marcus, come on. Get up, man. You go for it. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. You damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. I don't want. So, they're annoyed because the androids stole their jobs, 
But, actually, to be fair, I guess that's a good reason to get annoyed. But, like, at the same time, you don't need to bully them. Like, what did Marcus do? He's just an innocent dude getting some pain. Well, not dude, android, but... Oh, they have separate buses for the androids. Alright, let's head home, Marcus. Oh, no, they have a separate section on the bus for the androids. So, like, if you look at the front, there's humans. Damn, I really like the concept of how it's all about, like, the future and humans and androids. Like, it's so different. I think that's why it like stood out to me and I really wanted to play it. Alright, so we're done with another chapter. We're moving quite fast for this game, guys. But uh, yeah, we're going to move on to the next bit, which is uh, probably going to be Marcus. Oh, no. Is it? No, I think we've gone back to Kara. Uh, 4.53 p.m. Let's get out the car. All right, we are in our new home, guys. As Kara, you coming? I'm coming. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. And you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's <coughs> Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Oh, so here we go. We ha Now this is where the scan ability comes into earlier when we were playing as Marcus that I was talking to you guys about. Also, I don't like Todd straight away, guys. This guy, he is not a nice dude. No, he is just being horrible to us. We're cleaning his whole house and this guy is disrespecting us. And uh, I was going to say as well, the little girl sitting at the stairs, Alice, his daughter, I'm presuming, is... Um, oh, wait, what's going on here? Component? What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, let's wash some dishes. Oh, I need to take those ones out first? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I was saying, that little girl at the stair, Todd's, this guy here, Todd, uh, his daughter, Alice, looks like the same girl that Connor was saving at the start. I mean, I could be wrong, but they look so out similar. Of the way for okay! Sake. I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Oh, guy, yeah, look, there she is. It's Alice. How you doing, Alice? Huh? Alright, uh, oh yeah, here's the dishes that we need to take out. So let's take these dishes, because Todd's too lazy. Alright, we gotta do everything for Todd. Alright. Yeah. Maybe. Depends on what you need. Alright, guys, we're yeah, washing yeah. some dishes. Being a slave to the humans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same place. You know, you know. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Oh, man. Oh, damn. This guy's. This guy is not, like. Why is he so aggressive? Like, just everything about this guy he just seems like he has, like, so many problems. He just seems really aggressive. He just doesn't like anyone. Like, he doesn't even care for his daughter. He's just getting the robot to care for her. Oh, wait, I still need to clean more stuff down here. Okay, I'm not allowed to walk in front of the TV or he'll kill me. <laughs> All right, we're done with the trash. Okay, so can I put this back now? Um, hold on. Yeah, here we go. Pizza boxes. 
She's just not gonna put the pizza boxes in? Alright, I think we're done with the trash. Yeah. There we go. Probably gonna need to take that out. Yup. I mean What does Todd actually work as though Like He looks like such a mess Like he's just um He's just so aggressive for no reason I kind of did have the feeling that he was like that though Like when he was buying us in the shop Like he just looked a bit off What is she doing under the table Okay what else do we need to clean down here Finish the first I've one I've made a good start oh, down here go. I'll head upstairs Do what you have to do but stop bothering me God <laughs> And now we smoke in a bong. Great example to your kid, Todd. Where's the, where'd Alice go? All right, let's uh, go upstairs. All right, guys, probably gonna have to do some more cleaning upstairs because we're literally this guy's slave. What is he doing down there? Let's uh, clean. Is this this must be Todd's room? Yeah, it definitely is. Look at all the alcohol. Let's clean Todd's room first. All right, what else? Uh, tidy up this? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's just a sports magazine. Wait, what else is in it? Oh, that's cool. They like, they don't have to flip the pages. They literally just swipe it. Um, let's make his bed. Cause he's too lazy. All right. Hey, I think, oh. Watch it. oh okay. Hey, God. It's, uh... Oh. Oh. Look at her face. <laughs> she even knew that was nasty. All right, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, this is the second bathroom. Okay. Let's, uh, clean up in here, guys. God, we got a lot of cleaning to do, huh? Just clean after clean. All right, let's clean the bottles. I mean, clean them. Sort them out. Uh, what else in the bathroom? Oh, mop. We're gonna mop the floors. Oh, no, that's not a mop. What is that? Okay, let's, uh, do we need to clean Alice's room? Is this her room? I think it's a room. Yep. Oh. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I've just come to tidy your room! I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Alice in Wonderland. Of course. She looks horrified with, by us. Like, she actually looks like she does not like us at all. Like, she is scared. To be honest, I'd be more scared of Todd than her, though. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's, uh, get some fresh air in here. Okay, what else do we need to clean in here, huh? What is she doing? Playing with her little fox? What is this? Oh, these are just her books. Seems you like reading. Anything else in here? This? Okay. Alright, I think we're done with Alice's room. He takes pills. Antidepressant contains T and P tine risk of oh. He's got a gun. Okay, yeah. We should uh probably find a new owner really quick. Alice! How you been? Are you good? Can I have a quick talk with you? I don't know why. Oh, so we can be factual friendly. Let's be friendly to her. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Oh, what a sweet quid. Quid? Uh, kid. Uh, name Kara, interest. Uh, let's go over interest. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. You seem quiet. What's name Kara? Your father said you chose my name. Oh, for her. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Uh, leave alone, seem quiet. Let's ask about the mother. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Oh, I think the mom died. Oh. She just handed us a battery? Wait, what was that? Key. Oh, to our box? Oh, okay. 
All right, let's see what's in this box. A and W treasure. Let's open it up. Oh, that was their family. Did Todd break her the first time? I feel like Todd broke her, that's why she was dismantled. Because what else would have made her malfunction and stuff and make her bad? Because I wouldn't be surprised if Todd like lost it and just like got really angry at Kara. Because, yeah. Oh. What are you doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a lowlife? Huh? Oh. Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Kara's just like secretly dialing child services like on her little beep thing. Alright, that was intense. That was deep. He was like proper going at Alice for no reason. Oh, are we back with Marcus? Alright guys, I think we're back with Marcus. There's something really wholesome about him, I don't know why. Marcus has got a nice house. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave Detroit Become Human here. If you did enjoy, please go below your screen and like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on a single upload. Thank you for all your support. I am actually really enjoying this. This is more like of a intense, serious game. And it's very, like, story-based. But I quite like those games. Because, like, back in the day, I used to play, like, Walking Dead Telltales. Like, I played all of those. And I used to absolutely love them. I played them, like, constantly, all the time. And I love these type of games where the choices you make have consequences depending on what you choose. I hope you guys I really did enjoy this video. Like I said, comment down below your favorite character out of the three. Marcus, Connor, and Kara. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. <laughs>